Welcome to another episode of Crime Pace of Bonnie Does It. We're here in the San Pedro Martir Mountain Range of Baja, California. It's basically a massive pluton, all right? A big pluton of intrusive igneous rock that cooled very slowly over the span of a million or two million years deep underground and then was later uplifted. You can tell it's intrusive igneous rock when you look at that grain size, aka the mineral structure, and see that it's relatively large. When geologists say grain size, they're basically talking about the mineral slash crystal structure in a rock, right? Whereas basalt, which is, a, which is an extrusive igneous rock, has a very small grain size. Granite has a very large grain size. So we're going to take a look at this massive boulder of granitic rock, which uh, just, uh, you know, happened to smash on this winding, sketchy mountainside highway. And we're going to give it a good rectal exam and check out. Uh, well, I, first off, it's just pure clickbait. I mean, just to be completely honest, it's pure clickbait. I, I like seeing stuff like this. I like seeing large boulders smashing stuff as long as nobody's injured. And so uh, there's that going for it. But it's also a good example of uh, of the rock type that we're dealing with here. This relatively uh, low density as far as intrusive igneous rocks go, uh, granite right here, which composes the continental crust, all right, as opposed to oceanic crust. Continental crust rides higher uh, on the uh, than the oceanic crust. So the oceanic crust, you know, gets uh, emanated out of the ground at seafloor spreading centers and goes back into the ground at subduction zones. And where it goes back into the ground at subduction zones, you, of course, get things like, you know, volcanic uh, areas, uh, volcanic chains, etc. And then the uh, continental crust just uh, is uh, much, can be much older, never gets recycled back and just stays, kind of rides high. So this is what we're dealing with here. It's a uh, a very, very wonderful exposure of a massive granitic boulder. Let's go check it out. See, the granite wants to come down. It wants to go back to the ocean, all right? Well, it's continental crust, you know, whereas oceanic crust is basalt, continental crust is granite, but you get the point. It wants to be weathered and eventually make its way back out uh, to sediments uh, out there in the Pacific Ocean. might take a couple million years, but it'll get there eventually. And you can see it's not going to give up. Here we go. That huge chunk. Remember, I was used to run trains on the Feather River route in Northern California. There shouldn't be a railroad there. Completely expensive as hell and just ridiculous to build a railroad there. But there was always huge chunks of granite coming down. It was granite and serpentine both. It just wants to come down. See, you know, that's what they're doing. You know, it's a slow process breaking up a, a couple, you know, dozen ton piece of granite like this. You're going to have to go in. You know, just with the slices. What is that thing? I'd be curious to see him do it. You know, you ever seen those videos where people, you know, breaking huge boulders apart like this, you know, three times the size of a person with just chisels and sledges and shit? You could do it. it takes a minute. But... Oh, that's kind of cool. There's some algae growing beneath the patina. There's some cyanobacteria growing beneath the patina, beneath all those feldspars and shit. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. See, that's how you got to do it. It's like they took a break, though. How deep does that rod go? I can't really tell. Make sure you get the brand name. Give them a shout out. See, it's, granite's actually pretty soft. It's a low density intrusive igneous rock. You know, compared to Gabbro or something. And all that basalt that makes up the oceanic crust, all that basalt's a lot heavier. If that was a big, if that was an equal sized boulder of basalt, you know, you'd see a little bit more dimpling in that pavement. Basalt's a lot heavier, got more iron in it, less silica. So this stuff comes apart really easily and it forms this nice DG to decomposing granite over there. See, this stuff, I mean, it's not a, look at it, I could crumple it in my hand. All right, but all that black stuff, those are all little crystal grains. I don't know, what is that, horn blend? Biotite, I don't fucking know. I don't get that deep into it, but uh, you know that's that's what we mean when we say grain size. As you can see, that's a large, relatively large grain size. You know, almost a quarter of an inch across. See, same thing going on right there. Feldspars. You know, basically, uh, it's a felsic rock. Feldspars, silica, you know, etc. As opposed to you know basalt, which is a uh, a mafic rock. You know, got more of magnesium and iron. But uh, anyway, the granite always gets it always forms that nice, relatively acidic soil substrate. You get a little bit of organic material in there. That's a good soil for plants like uh, Areodapion and Gustafolium and some of the pines and etc. But look at that, this whole thing. I mean, it just weathers very easily. Oh, that's nice. That's nice work right there. Good job, Pluton. Real proud of you.